Okay, today I'm going to show you how to operate a Hasselblad 500CM camera. To open the waist level finder, you slide this button to the right and all of the flaps pop open. The magnifier typically does not, sometimes it will. To make the magnifier come up, you simply slide the button to the right and the magnifier will come up. You can also reach in here and slide this over and do the same thing if you want to. To close it, simply close down the magnifier again. Take the left flap and close it. Take the right flap and close it. The rear flap down and then close. Okay, to remove the magazine, simply slide the button to the right and remove. Here we see the body and the uh, magazine casing. So you put the magazine back onto the clips here on the rear of the camera body. Okay, these holes go onto these clips. And when you put the camera magazine back on, use the button. Do not just push the magazine on that way. Although it will work, over time it will wear it out. Use the button to close. Okay, to um, fire the camera, the metal slide called the dark slide has to be removed from the magazine. The camera will not fire with the metal slide in the magazine. This is a big mistake a lot of people make with Hasselblads when they first start out. They think, oh no, my camera won't work. Move the metal, take the metal slide, pull it out. Some of you may have a slide holder on the back of your magazine. You can insert the slide into those holders. Most people just set them somewhere and ultimately lose them and then have to buy another one from me. Okay, so to fire the camera, you move the slide. Then you simply press the shutter release button as such. To recock the camera, you simply wind it. Some of you will have a crank and you turn the crank to recock the camera. Um, now, the metal slide goes back in. Let's start from step one. Okay, you will take your magazine, remove the insert by pulling this handle up, turning it to the left, removing the insert. Put your film around your insert, into the spool, into the spool, then you reinsert the insert into the camera. This has to be cocked to the left to reinsert the insert. Turn it to the right, push down. Make sure you keep your metal slide in or you're going to expose your film. Put the magazine back onto the camera. Crank this you see is at zero. You must crank it to one. Okay, it's at one. If this magazine continues cranking past one, your magazine is defective and needs repair. It must stop at one. Pull the handle down, turn it backwards, sit it there snugly. Now you're ready to fire your camera once you remove the metal slide. Metal slide is out. You have your lens set where you need it to be set. And you fire the button. And you can hear it plop plop as the Hasselblads famously do. Now, to change the aperture and the speeds on the lens, you simply move this lever down and move it around relative to the aperture you desire. You have to keep it pressed down, go to the aperture you want, take the speeds, do the same thing. These are interlocking, so if you want to change the speeds but not the aperture, um, you have to hold this down while you change your speeds. You see that? Okay, otherwise 
they are interlocking and they move together. These numbers here are called EV values. If you have a metering system that uses EV values, it will give you your EV number. You simply set this arrow to your EV number and then all of your corresponding combinations of speeds and shutter, uh, shutter speeds and apertures stay together because this is interlocking. This is your um, flash sync. This, if you want to use a self timer on these old lenses, if you have a CF or newer lens, they do not have self timers on those lenses. You simply take and hold this up, put this to V, and then when you fire your camera, it has a self timer for eight seconds and then it fires. You have to set this, I can go over that later, you have to set this to um, T I believe when you do the self timer. Otherwise though this is the focusing mechanism. Okay, these are your um, shutter speeds, these are your aperture speeds and you just have to keep moving these around to get the correct combination you want. And I think that is the basics of firing your Hasselblad. Oh, to remove the magazine, just remember that you have to have the dark slide in before you can move the magazine. You can test your shutter uh, doors, fire the camera. They should, oops, I had it set wrongly. They should fire and close just like that. If your doors stay open, you have a defective camera. If, the, if one hangs, it should open and close just like that. As you depress the button though, they will stay open. So you see how that works. I think that should get you by. If you have any questions, simply write something in the comment section or email me. God bless you.